vertical non-stop fake job step by step we don't have any financial interest in this video advantages of this technique are less ultrasound intensive technique this technique is also effective in hard lenses good for small pupils as well as in case of zonal damage the key step in this technique is to achieve a posterior break this is an example of achieving this important step let's review it step by step the first concept is angle of attack we need a high angle of attack to impel the lens the second concept is vacuum seal the vacuum seal is how we hold the nucleus to achieve a posterior break first you need to impale the nucleus to chop the nucleus stop the ultrasound build the vacuum then chop the lens a horizontal movement between the two instruments is needed to complete a posterior break In some cases with hard nucleus and leathery posterior plate, the chopper need to dissect posteriorly to complete the break. Let's watch some examples. These are straightforward cataracts. And these are more challenging cases. After achieving a posterior break, how do you continue the procedure? The first maneuver is lambda chop. To achieve lambda chop, hold the hemineucleus and chop to the opposite side after that fake with a piece this technique is excellent for soft to medium nucleus Another technique is roll and chop. In this technique, chop one piece, then rotate the nucleus, chop another one until the whole nucleus is pierced. This is a nice technique to emulsify hard lenses. The last technique is peripheral chop. To achieve a peripheral chop, first take the hemineucleus out from the capsule or bag, then chop from the periphery to the center. With a combination of these three maneuvers, you can deal with any case.
The most critical step in vertical chop is to achieve a posterior break. Common mistakes during this maneuver are use of low angle of attack or break and vacuum seal. It's easy to solve these problems. Just rotate the lens and restart again. Let's see a couple of examples. Thank you.